Hello. I'm good, Mr. McCrock Obama. Maybe I'm crocking funny man in the building. How you doing? How you doing? I'm great. How you? I'm real good. I'm real good. I understand you in New York. What you doing out there? No, no, I go to New York Wednesday, so I'm still in LA right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they see uh, the Wayne brothers have a lot of press to do out there because they're superstars, mega stars, and we're gonna put this movie to the top of the box office. I heard that. Now, tell me what it was like being involved with this movie and being involved with the whole process. Man, I mean, I've been a fan of the Wayne Brothers since way back. You know, when they come up, I'm going to get you sucker, how to <laughs> jump over. Right, right. You can't really go wrong. He, didn't, he really laid out a platform for people like Jim Carrey and David Allen Greer, Tom Davis, to just do their thing. And, and I, I just learned from all these people. So being on the set with them, because David Allen Greer's in the movie too. It just took me full circle. Like, I remember being a little kid in front of TV watching them, and then now I'm working with them. It was just an amazing experience. Wow. Always laughing on set, retarded. Like, just imagine being around a family full of comedians. All day Name funny. Point. You know? Laughing all day, every day. Exactly. That's real cool, man. That's real cool. Now, you personally, a lot of people don't know this, but you are a really talented dancer. I've had the pleasure of seeing you dance myself at an after party at a, about a year ago at the HBFF Film Festival. I mean, you be busting moves. It's crazy. So, uh, right, right. being that this is like a dance movie, how much of yourself did you get to put into your role? This one was, uh, it was pretty full service. I mean, we definitely did a lot of dancing, a lot of choreography. I got the freestyle to do my own thing. Um, I don't know how much of it will make the big screen because I haven't seen the whole movie finished oh, okay. yet. Um, but it's definitely, you know, we don't leave anything out. We pull out all the stops. David Jr., he got his dance skills up. He's back flipping in the air. Like, it's just crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, it's going off. Wow, wow. Now, you just mentioned them. And this is a Wayans family movie. The whole crew is in there. Uh -huh. So I mean, how much how much of the movie was improv? I know there's some funny off the cuff dudes. So how much it was improv, you know, and how was it working with them? Well, we had uh, we had moments like in the trailer when you see me and David going through the uh, you know I say I ain't style movie that is no I and team and I start going down the list. That was something written that we made into our own thing. Oh, like okay. I. I I came up with the high ensemble, and he was like, you just made that work sound like I had a high in it. You know, it was moments like that that just came out, and people all said, started laughing, and it just made it, and kept it, kept it in the movie. But for the most part, I gotta say, we stuck to the script, because yeah. they were really trying to tell the story and go somewhere. So if we would improv too much, it wouldn't really serve the purpose of the film. Right, you know? right. But okay. the improv is definitely there, so there's gonna be some gems in there. All right. So... Like right now, this is a movie that's in, different than anything else that's in the theaters at this moment. So, I mean, what would you say to tell people to get out there and see this film? It's probably the biggest comedy of the year, I would say. Um, Big you know, words. You, it is. You have the, the reunion of all the Wayne's family. When was the last time you saw Keenan, Sean, Marlon, Kim, and introducing David Jr. in one movie? And on top of that, you have A.P. on the clock, you know, wow, and now fame, and uh, <laughs> insane. So you bring a whole lot of different comedy minds together. You got David Allen Greer. It, it, it's, 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 a, it's a big comedy, you know. It's big. It's a lot of soldiers in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's big, it's big. All right, then, all right. Let's, take, let's talk about you for a moment. Um, romantically, are you breaking any hearts right now? Are you single? Are you seeing somebody? You know what? I keep all of that out for me. Ah. I do all of that on the, in my private time. And I'll tell you why. Because I just, I want my, my career to be based on my talent. Right, I right. I want to be like uh, Brad and I want to be like, you know, these reality show cats. Right, right. With the sex tapes. And, you know, they kind of <laughs> build their career off of a uh, relationship. And to me, that's there's no talent in that. Right, right. By the just keep all that in the wraps and uh, 
do what I do. You know what I mean? Okay, I can respect that. I can respect that. Moving on. Since you won't tell me nothing. Um, you an actor, you a musician, you a real multi talented dude. When can we what can we expect from you on the on the music side? On the music side, it's, it's funny that that's a whole nother interview. Um <laughs> for a while I was really, you know, serious about doing the rap thing and, and you know, not just uh, uh, yeah, like I said, that's a whole nother interview. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed with music right now. It's, it's crazy. We, we put on back to robotic music and techno, and I don't really think, you know, it doesn't drive me to be creative. Cause if I put my mind into making some hot lyrics on the Rock Kim type level, and then the song that's number one sounds like, then what does that mean? But the thing about you, though, I mean, you know, going off the topic a little bit, you you have this kind of, and people don't know this was so funny. You got this kind of flair about you when you when you go hard. Like you might see like a little bit of it on Wild and Out or something like that. But when you go hard, you got this so this flair about you. But at the same time, you a funny dude. And I'm just thinking, you know, personally being a fan of yours, that you would try to like, you know, mix it up the funny with the like. I see you YouTube. I see you be spoofing. Like I think I would think that you would mix it up and just release that album until people was ready to take music seriously again. Nah, and, and you know what, I, I definitely thought about doing that. The problem with it right now is um, having the time to really chase it because film is what my first love is. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get scattered and sidetracked and say, all right, well, let me start doing this album. Right. But I will say that I am producing and directing my first film. Wow. And it's a hip hop musical comedy. So I'm soundtracking it as well. So there will be an album attached to that movie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what you're saying is actually <laughs> in the works. All right. It's not a kind of independent album. It's connected to the movie. And then we'll push it as as an album. Okay. Okay. That's that's all I wanted to hear. So I, I got you. But no, I appreciate that. I appreciate right. the, the lookout. You okay. Know? And the thing is this too. I'm not really one that's trying to get people to understand that I'm an MC. Uh -huh. That's just what I am. You know, I'm not trying to prove that. And I have the respect of the Talib Kweli and the Grandmaster Cash. Wow. And, you know, the Agony Agony. Wow. And age, we, all, we all rock together. As a matter of fact, go on YouTube and um, check out the song Black History by Strong Arm Steady. And uh, I'm featured on there with some guys. So, all right. You know. All right, we're coming down to the wire, coming down to the wire, coming down to the wire. Um, you had the opportunity to, to work with, with Sam Jackson and Wayans on this movie and Bernie Mac. Who would you like to work with next? Man, uh, Eddie Murphy, definitely. Martin Lawrence again. Uh, Chris Tucker, Will Ferrell, Jim Carrey. You know, I'm all about collaborating and getting in a room with another genius mind and, and seeing how they're going to push me to be funnier. Yeah. You know, I would love to do more work with, with Damon Jr. I think he and I uh, are beginning the comedy duo that you used to see back in the day with like Sidney Poitier and Bill Cosby. Uh, they did like three, four movies together, you know what yeah. I'm saying, back in the 70s. So, uh, or Will Smith and Martin with the Bad Boys thing. Right, right. Yeah, I think Dana Jr. and I can really kill that market. Okay, well, I look forward to that. And here go the last and the final. You already talked about the new movie. What else can we expect from you in the future? And tell people who don't know, who living under a rock, where they can find you, where to look you up, where to hit you up. The place to find me is youtube.com slash Atheon Crockett. That's one word, A-F-F-I-O-N-C-R-O-D-K-E-T-T. Uh, that's my YouTube channel, but we're flipping all of that into a TV show that we're working on right now, uh, taking over with Chappelle left off. Okay. And like I said, check out that movie that I'm going to be producing and, and directing. Is that Chicago we'll Jones? Huh? Is that Chicago Jones? No, 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 that's Kel Mitchell's movie. Oh, that's okay. The, the entertainment director. Do we, we got a title for your movie? Huh? Did we got a title for your movie? A working title for your movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't. Uh, I ah. Can't it's a lot of fighters out there. <laughs> I heard if that. If you say the name of the movie, you'll get 
get him and somebody can try to take it around. I got you. I got you. I respect that. So we looking for a new show. We looking for a movie. We looking for a new soundtrack from the movie. We got a lot of things coming up from Avion Crockett. Yeah, going down. All right, then. Well, I look forward to it, man, and I, I appreciate you taking out the time and talking to me, and I, I wish you the best of luck on this film. I appreciate it, Michaela. It's all good. All right, man. God bless. <laughs>